look a lot like Christmas. I don't know why I sound Welsh when I said that. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Um, you can see the decorations there. I don't know. Anyway, I'm a fucking spider. What the fuck? Anyway, um, yeah. So I'm returning back to my Scream Six review. I remember this time last year, I was reacting to the fucking trailer. Uh, if the fucking actor strike didn't happen, and if someone didn't get fucking sacked for a stupid fucking reason, um. Then I um I would probably be reacting to the Scream Seven trailer, but no, no, and also that was gonna be a Christmas movie. Well, I still have faith that they're gonna make it anyway. Okay, with Nev Campbell and Patrick Dempsey and Courtney Cox and the actress that plays Corby, and you know what? I have faith that the other two are gonna come back. Anyway, so back onto my Scream. Six them review. Um, so I love that scene that references Scream 2. I'm wondering the thing is like, oh, this is they're looking around, we gotta look around, and see what's happening. Oh, remember the last time this happened? This is exactly how Uncle Randy died. You know, I love that dialogue, and they're looking around and the camera work, and they're like, hello, and all that. And I believe he's on the phone, it's like, what do you want? It's like, oh, hello, I'm somewhere in the park, or whatever. Uh, I think Ghostface rings up. If memory serves me correctly. Anyway, and they're looking around. I just love the camera work there. And like, yeah, let's go. We gotta go. And then they're, I like this idea, in this film that you like they're kind of solving clues as to what's gonna happen. Like they're like, w where do we gotta go? It's like I think we, I know what we gotta do. We gotta do this. And they're like, really? Yeah, we have to do this. Okay, come on, let's go. And they're running. I think I know where he is. And he calls the sheriff, and she's like, yeah, hey, what's up? It's like, I think I know what's happening. I know where he is. But it's like, okay, okay. We'll meet you there, yeah. And he runs. He's like, "We gotta go do this thing." It's like, "Okay, girls, you gotta calm down. We'll, we'll take it from here. We'll stop the killer or whatever." And <laughs> he is the killer. But I love that. I love that aspect of it. Um. So I'm just uh, I'm balancing this on my laptop. So yay! And it's my college stuff is on it. So yeah. Anyway, um. So I love all that, and they're like, "Okay, we gotta go." It's like. You gotta borrow your cards. Like, no, you can't. Don't you dare do it. And you get this really funny, like, comedic scene. That's actually kind of cool. Seeing a scream. You'd be like, oh, come on, let's go. And like, don't do that. And they open the cards. Like, oh, this is probably illegal. This is bad. This is a felony. What are you doing? Come on. And then, turns the keys. Like, okay, have you ever driven before? Like, no. And then, maybe once in there, like, <laughs> driving. It's like, god damn it. Shit, they stole my car. And all that stuff. And he's just driving, like, shh. You know, it's like, come on, come on, come on. You get this amazing kind of chase scene. Um, I believe they call it like Kirby. It's like, yeah. And she's like, what are you doing? It's like, oh, I'm just doing this. I'm looking over some stuff. Some things don't really add up though. And it's like, okay, well, listen here, Reed. I want it back. They stole my car. I was like, wow, that's insane. Um, and I can't remember if there's like a scene where Corby's there with him. Like, okay. This is exactly, okay, yeah, this is how Randy that we gotta see what's going on. No, I don't think, no, she doesn't show up in the park, but, um, but yeah, I love it, love it, fucking love it, love it. It's like, come on, let's go, they're driving, like, shh, okay, we gotta go, we gotta go, they're like, okay, we gotta sort this out, we gotta do, see what's happening here, and stuff like that. So, I love that aspect, and even just that scene where they're in the park talking, like, everyone dies, like, Tony Stark, the, this is the rules of the movies, you can kill off the legacy characters, blah, blah, blah. It does not matter what happens. And I love that aspect of this movie, that it does not matter. Like, it's so self-aware, and it carries on the screen, like, this franchise being self-aware. And I love that whole aspect of, like, you know, each movie stays self-aware in the decade that the movie is released, you know? And it stays current, and I'm just seeing what's on the TV in the kitchen. Oh, home and away. Never mind. Anyways, <laughs> soap. Um, it's like, come on, we gotta go. We gotta do this now. It's like, we, okay, we have to stop this. Come up with a plan. And they're running away, you know, to the apartment or whatever. And as I said, the New York setting, it just, I love it. New York! Concrete jungle where dreams are made of! Anyway. 
Um, so I like that. And then you get more scenes with like Kirby in the, the police station. Like, okay, we got to do this. This is how we're going to do that. It's like, Kirby, you got to stop now. It's like, I think this is exactly what we got to do with the killer. Got to do this, that, and the other. And then you kind of see her looking through the computer. She's like, what? Um, the other thing I also want to mention actually is I didn't realize this when watching the movie, right? But you know that part where like you see the therapist and he's like, he has his feet up and he's like watching the thing and he's eating cereal just before he gets a knock. He's like, who's there? He's like me. And then, you know, just before Ghostface stabs him. And then he's watching that movie, you know, the black and white ones. It's like, they're all here already. You're next. You're next. You're next. And all that. There's a DVD copy or a poster copy that dead me, James and Chelsea sent to the director. So they actually had them somewhat interacted in this movie as well as the last one that came out last year which well if actually you think about it Scream 5 is going to be two years old next month but technically it came out last year anyway it's weird anyway but um god yeah and I just I love that and then you know there's just those aspects I've already said the scene where Ghostface is chasing them in the fucking uh, out in the um, the street is awesome and I love the part he comes in with the gun get down he's like fuck you and then the guy comes and slices him and then just the, like just to build up the tension in that scene where he has the shotgun it's like and seeing the fucking barrel go off and as I said they up the gore in this this is the goriest scream film they have ever fucking made like the guy, like the guy getting stabbed over and over, you know, the fucking therapist and just gore everywhere. The bit with the fucking guy getting sliced and the, sliced and diced in the fucking shop and then or the store and then the guy the liquor store and then the guy getting shot. And the the blood is practical and the, there's bits of CGI, but the practical gore and blood that they have is amazing. So, um, I love that aspect of it, but um. Yeah, and you get other parts. I'm trying to think, like... There's, like, other parts. Yeah, there's, like, a part where... Um, they run back. And... As I said, there's multiple scenes with Sam and her boyfriend. Like, as she's running, she's like, Oh, God, Sam, I gotta protect you. He's like, Is it you okay? He's like, Yeah, I was just out here and all that. It's like, Okay, well, I gotta know what's happening and all that. It's like, Yeah, well, I'm here to protect you no matter what, you know? And... I like the build up that you see them walking and flirting with each other and giving each other the eyes, you know, the eyes, you know, uh. anyway, um, so essentially I love that. I love that part where they're like in the hallway. It's like, come on, I got to protect you. And they're just walking past each other and they start making out and kissing. And then the rest of us as audience members are like, oh, that was a joke. Don't cancel me. That was a joke. Uh, like, yeah, we got to protect you. It's going to be okay. We're going to protect you. And, like, they make it, like, it was a bit like, it kind of reminded me of Jerry O'Connell in Scream 2. How he's not the killer. But, like, he was more, I guess, sweet. Like, this guy looks like he could kill someone. But he's not. You know, looks can be deceiving. I like that aspect of it. Uh, it does, it's not cliche or anything. So, I love that part of it. Um, but like even like I like the, the elements of comedy like like the part where the guy's like wait so am I a victim? It's like yeah dude you definitely are a victim and then they even hint like you could definitely be the killer. It's like uh, I was wrong the last time. It's like where you were wrong the last time. I was wrong the last time but still I'm going to try to be right this time so hopefully I'm right. You were definitely got the killer written all over you. It's like wait what? I'm not a killer. You know the, the Cordy guy with the striped short and he's like and all that stuff. He's like yeah. It's like, wait, you could die. I think you're next. You you look like it. It's like, wait, you, all the virgins here are going to die. It's like, all the virgins appear. It's like, wait, am I going to die a virgin? And it's like, even if you're, like, all the rules are different now. Even if you're a virgin, you might die. You might die and all that. It's like, wait, am I going to die a virgin? She's like, okay, dude, we didn't need to know that information. So I love that, that part of it. Um, it was like, I just love those, like, comedy elements. Um, and as I said, like, I feel like I, I'm enjoying these new leads. I think that they were more interesting this time around. Like, Jenna Ortega as Tara 
or Tara, whatever the way you want to say it, was given so much more to do in this movie than in Scream 5. Because she was in a hospital bed for most of Scream 5. Like, and she was still well developed in Scream 5. But they add to her character. We learn more about her. Who she wants to hook up with. All that shit. Um, you know. So. You get those kind of aspects. And then like. Later on they go back to the apartment. Like, we all got to go back to the apartment. And look at the news. Like okay. We got to do this. We got to see what's happening. All that. We got to know what's going on. And, and they're like yeah. I just think we got to chill. So they're sitting at the table. It's like, yeah, have some beer and a drink. And then the ginger girl's like, oh, yeah, I think it's all going to be okay. I think it's going to be fine and all that. And then eventually, like, obviously, I, I mentioned that scene earlier. Did I, like, where Chad and Tara talk. It's like, hey, it's like, you okay? It's like, oh, yeah, I'm fine. Just got to do that. And I love the little build up to their relationship. Because it's like, when you watch Scream 5, you would have never thought that they'd get together. If anything... You would have thought Dylan Minnette would have got with her. Because obviously that was mentioned in Scream 5. She's like, oh, I used to have a crush on... It's like, you used to have a crush on Tara, you know? So there's that, like, aspect of it. But um, I said... How many fucking times have I said aspect in this video, actually? Uh, yeah. So. Um, I'm going to put this down for a second uh but yeah like i'm fucking hungry guys i'm sorry i'm, I'm gonna cut this off again <laughs> sorry i keep doing this this is gonna be the longest okay do you know what actually this is part five isn't it oh. wouldn't it be perfect if i made part six the final part of this like scream six like review this is going to try to be my, one of my New Year's resolutions. I'm going to try my best to not split movie reviews into two parts anymore. And if I do want to take a break, I'm going to start editing them together. Because I just think it's bad. And like to be honest, like at this stage, this review is probably really long. So, yeah. 